Welcome back to Man, Woman, Love, Revolution. I'm Tyler Hendricks. Father called divine principle Adam's thought. But he said that Adam's thought does not center on Adam. It centers on Adam and Eve, true parents. Let's consider Father's words. Had human beings not fallen, whose thought would have ruled the world? It would have been Adam's thought. But what is Adam's thought? Is it just about Adam? No. It is the same as the teaching centered on true parents. It is the father-mother principle. No teaching can be higher than this. This is the ultimate principle, and it upholds parents. And if you have parents, you have family. Father looked at everything from the perspective of family, including the Bible. He said, the 66 books of the Bible are just talking about the desire for the ideal family. Father's words instruct us on this. A glorious new morning will dawn when God assumes a physical body. This is the embodiment of God in true Father. He went on, even more glorious will be the moment when God has a couple, husband and wife, whom he can love. He's talking about the embodiment of God in true parents. But he continues further, still more glorious will be the moment when God can love his grandchildren. That moment will be more thrilling than when he first loved his son and daughter. This is the embodiment of God in a family. Adam's thought is the teaching centered on true parents. It is the father-mother principle. To repeat Father Moon's words, no teaching can be higher than this. This is the ultimate principle, and it upholds parents. The man-woman love revolution is to build a world based on the father-mother principle. The heart of true parents is the heart of the father and mother, which gives us rebirth and is unchanging. What it is now always has been and evermore shall be. I'm Tyler Hendricks. Thanks so much for listening and may God bless your path.